Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Forever. We have killed the dragon and now we've got to figure out what our purpose in life is because that was it. Um, I have actually already been on since I killed the dragon as you more attentive viewers might be able to figure out. Uh, I've lined up a few things that I want to do. So the first one should not take too long. It's going to be over here. Yep. Let's come up here. Here's our enchanting table. Not sure you've seen me use it yet. Oh, that's weird. I can't enchant my golden hoe. I was gonna I was gonna have a magic golden hoe in my footlocker in my bedroom. Because everyone wants a magic golden hoe in their bedroom. Oh well. Darn. Um yeah, so let's do the next thing, because the next thing is uh pretty cool too. For a while I have wanted something up here that would let me see this area better. So we're going to risk it. Oh, no, not at all, really, but um, we've got some obsidian, and I am going to, let me see now, how do I want to do this other than carefully? Do I have dirt? Ah, oh, that's fine, I'll just use wood. I'm going to make a spire that will have a um, glowstone at the top. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to put a, um, a ladder up in the middle of this. And basically the idea is just to try to make the um, base a little more visible from far, far away. Because I've noticed that I've been out in the world and I have not always known where everything was, you know, where my base was, so I figure it would be a good thing to be able to spot it from a million miles away. And it's a it's a it's a memento of my battle against the dragon. You may wonder how I'm going to get down. Well, I have a plan. It's not to jump. Because in theory, I'm still trying to live. I probably should put something interesting up here, like a place to stand or something, but for now, my theory is just to just to make it be a spire. Okay, and here we'll put and I'll put one more. There we go. And now I'm going to cut my way back down through here. Get rid of this wood. And then if I put a ladder up inside of this, I'll actually be able to climb up and stand on this edge. Because that would be a good idea. Actually, I suppose I can 
make a little platform up here just for safety's sake. So how do I get down? Well, that's where these guys come in. In theory, I should be able to throw one of these and then, whoa, teleport. Wasn't that exciting? That's not bad. That's, uh, that's a giant tower that I can see from really far away. So you may wonder why I came out here. And it is for a purpose. Let's see if I can find the torches. I've got a string of torches out here, and I'm going to show you one of the things that I had been working on. There they are. Okay. Um, I had mentioned that I was out here screwing around, trying to um, prep for the Ender Dragon fight, and I found something cool. Well, I'm going to show you what that is. And it is just up here. And then down here. And after I show this to you, I'm going to spend a little bit of time. Oh, I guess I must have blown up a creeper here. No big surprise there. I'll have to fill that in. Okay, I built this. Uh, I had actually wandered around underneath, under the ground, and found something really cool. And then I generally build a stairway right up if it's somewhere I'll want to go straight to. Uh, I've got a couple of some things in here. <coughs> Nothing special, just, you know, the usual. And. Let me make sure I'm I'm alone. Yep, I'm alone. I'm alone. No, oh, no, I'm not alone. Okay, these guys are not fun, and they will. Oops, see that? They will poison you. And when you get poisoned, you can actually get really, really low in health. It is not fun in in Minecraft Hardcore. Uh, but I I assure you, I will not die. See? But. I have learned not to get too close because they're tricky little buggers and they're very dangerous. I'm actually rather curious as to what's down that passageway past the spawner, but I don't think I'm going to find out because that would be just foolishness personified. Uh, there's no need for me to go down there. Um, so this isn't as fancy as some of the mob grinders out there, but it works pretty well. Um, it lets me see the monster, uh, see the spider, and kill it, and it's pretty good. Um, there isn't a lot else down here. I'll just show you. It's mostly just passageways, nothing real interesting. So, the next thing I want to show you, and I don't know if it's yet the sun's starting to get ready to go down, so that's good. Um, let me just kill a couple more of these guys, because, you know, I really need the experience, especially now that I can't make my golden magic bow. Okay, let's go back up here, and the sun's going down, so we can beat feet back to the base. What I want to show you is I want to spend a little bit of time running around outside looking at the monsters that are out there, and hopefully you'll be able to see, and they, they won't be around until dark anyway, so I may sort of skip to that part, but uh, I want you to see some of, the, some of the mobs that are out here, because they're really amazing. Um, the texture pack that I'm using is Glimmer's Steampunk, pa uh, Steampunk Pack, or Steampunk Texture Pack. And the person who, or people who did it, were very creative. They did some great work. And uh, if I wander around at night, I can actually give you a close-up view of what some of them look like. Because there's a real nice variety to the monsters. and. Um, you know, you've got, you know, you've got your robot chicken, um, but that's just a chicken. Um, there's a lot more out there, especially with the zombies and stuff. So, and look, see, we've got a spire up there so I can find my base so easily. And I even saved enough obsidian to not be able to make, well, actually, wait a second. I bet I've got a piece of obsidian up in here somewhere. Let's go in and take a look. Did I, did I... Uh, nope. One more up here. Nine. Oh, boo. That's okay. Um, maybe I'll cut away some of these later on so that I, because I don't really need to fill up this space. Um, this is extraneous. There's these ones down here. Um, but my theory is I might want to make another portal at some point. Alrighty. 
Uh, thanks to the suggestion to use um, Optifine. Uh, I'm sorry to say that I've been getting black screens trying to use it, so Optifine was not working for me. Uh, it was not giving me any improved um, performance. Unless, of course, you want to see a black screen. But I don't think I make a very good video, though, in black screen. Okay, sun's going down. Let's uh, walk to the end, and we can get out and take a look at some of these mobs before uh, the time for the video is up. Uh, we're close to, we're getting there. I gotta say, I, I marvel at how much people like Captain Sparkles and some other uh, vid vidders can accomplish in the course of 10-15 minutes, because I feel like my time just flies by. I'm almost at 11 right now, and it's just surreal to me how, how much they do because uh, I feel like I haven't done anything. On the other hand, I tend to play for far too long to get stuff done. Oh, I should have put a lamp back there in the one that doesn't have a lamp. That's okay. Alrighty, so the sun is going down. Very soon you will see mobs, but we will get out here so we can see them up close and personal. Not all of them are amazing, but uh, some of them are pretty cool, and I will go out and kill them so you can see them in person because I'm just like that. And because I've already killed the dragon, so I really have nothing left to fear. Where are you guys? Come on. Come play with me. Maybe, maybe I should make a zoo. Maybe I should lure them back and put them in pens. That would be fun. Alrighty, where are you? Monsters. They've got to be showing up soon. Oh, there they are. Okay. There are some at least. Okay, so up here is a common run of the mill. Let me just make sure there's no one on my side. I'm going to spin around a lot. There we go. So there's a, uh, there's a creeper. You can see he's all steampunky and dead. Yeah, pause the video. It'll work better. Here's a, oh, that's another same thing. Same, uh, same skin. Here's a spider. The spider's actually pretty cool. And what else do we have out here? I think I have a spider behind me. There you are. Okay. Um, oh, Enderman. That's not good. mess with Enderman, because I've killed enough already. That's not what I want to show you. Here is a robot. A robot that shoots me. So, cool looking robot. Uh, what else do we have? Where are we? Come on, guys. Come play with me. Not you, robot chicken. Oh, there's someone over there. There's someone over there. Anyone cool? I think it's just... Oh, look at that guy. All right, these this is one of the ones I wanted to show you. If you look at his belly, you can see right through him. The wires are, like, hanging down. It's awesome. Really, really well done. Here's another one. See, you can see right through his belly. And he is a, a robot, a, a decaying and another dead robot. Uh, not, good. Not, a, not a robot doing well. A robot in need of repair. Um, yeah, so that's some of the stuff I wanted to show you. I, wa I wanted to give you an understanding of, of why I'm actually, I was actually really happy to be working on this texture pack, because it's gorgeous. I mean, they did such a good job with it. It's Glimmer's, uh, Glimmer's Steampunk Texture Pack. I haven't shown you everything. Oh, oh, oh. I think over here I just spotted, yes, a mini creeper. Do you see that little guy? That was a mini creeper. He's really cute. And, you know, there we go, and a creeper, <laughs> which is never a good thing, but alrighty, alright, I'm going to head back, thank you for watching, this has been SRJ26, run, 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 oh, I heard that, oh, there's another one, and it keeps on going, Psst. Oh, don't shoot me.
just trying to go home. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.